I grew up in the wretched days of legal segregation in the South. It was not a good experience, but something else happened to me as I grew up, and it is that my family and my community said to me, all that you're having to experience, you get a good education, and then you have the responsibility to work hard to end the systems of inequality that we as human beings have created. I really believe we need to see a good education as a fundamental human right. Everybody has a right to it. I often think about a saying attributed to James Baldwin, not everything that is faced can be changed, but nothing can be changed that is not faced. And so for me, the first step in participating in bringing about far more equality and indeed equity in our world is to face the reality that it isn't there. And then the next step, of course, is that big decision that says, what will my role be in helping to make the world far more peaceful and just? I am optimistic that recent events have so changed the views of many, many Americans. So this more perfect union that we've been working at for all of these years might indeed come to fruition. There is real joy in being collaborative, in working with others. There's a wonderful African proverb that says, when spider webs unite, they can even tie up a lion. No single individual will really be able to solve the complex problems that we are facing. But ah, together, let's see what we can do. I've lived a very long life, and so there is much that I've participated in, that I've joined with others in doing, and yet I would always come back to the experience of being the president of two different historically black colleges for women. And so to be the president of a college where young women were figuring out that they really can fly, that was one of the best periods in my long life. I dream of the day when in my country, anyone who wants a college or university degree will have it. But until that day, we have a real responsibility to help as many young people as we can to get that education that they want and deserve. Receiving Scholarship America's Lifetime Achievement Award is incredibly special for me. It's an honor. It's a privilege to have one's work recognized. But I also know that in accepting this award, I am really making a public declaration that I will continue to do the best I can in the field of education and indeed as a philanthropist. <laughs>